Good morning, and welcome back to part two of our creation series. I'm back in my garden today doing some morning watering. And you can see behind me my fig trees, and I've got planters with tomatoes and squash and zucchini and some really cool stuff that, that's growing. And again, I love the garden because it reminds me of creation. So let's start off today with another song. We're going to do the creation song again. So everybody stand up and let's sing. We're going to sing the creation song. We're going to start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue. Day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. You hear those wolves? Whoa. Sing day number six On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. Sing out those woes Sing, God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and He made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What a great song. I love to sing about creation. It reminds me of how much God loves us. Here's our Bible story for today. Watch this. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. 
God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, man. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird. And all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. What a great story about creation. Again, I love the story of creation because it shows how much God loved us. He created all that we see. He created man, which means he created you and me. I want to show you something today from my garden. This is my lemon tree. Now, it's not a very big tree, but look already. It has lemons. Very cool. It's got these little lemons that have been growing. They start from these flowers and they, these little buds turn into white, beautiful flowers and eventually start to grow lemons. I can't wait to try these lemons. I bet they're going to be really good, especially if you, you cut them up, you put them in some water and add some sugar and you get lemonade. Love lemonade. Just as much as I love the garden and come see the things that grow. It reminds me of Genesis 1.31. God looked on all that he had made and saw that it was good. That's awesome. That means he approved and he loved us so much. Let's sing a song about Genesis 1.31. All right, can you guys all stomp your feet like elephants? Good job. This song is Genesis 1.31, and we're going to sing God looked over all he had made saw that it was good. So you guys, let's sing it out together. Are you ready? Here we go. Well, that's it for today. That was some great songs and the story of creation. Come back again next week 
and I'll have another lesson about creation. See you then. Have a blessed week and know that Pastor Kevin and Miss Rachel, we love you. See you later.